When I built my $70 CSGO potato, I didn't exactly extract the most out of the LGA 771 CPU that I used. However, this time around, I am going to do just that. I'm going to overclock the X5460 and then pop in a better graphics card and see the potential that the LGA 775 platform has to offer. Welcome back to Check Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with another build in the used PC department. This time we're going with a $118 PC. So it is a little bit more expensive than that CSGO potato that I built before. However, this time around we're able to overclock the CPU and drop in a better graphics card so we can get some better performance. So without further ado, we are going to look at the prices of the PC parts. Then we're going to move on to the build and the benchmarks.
So it's that time to see if it boots. Okay. How do you feel? Uh, please turn on. Okay, cool. It's working. Awesome. So we can see here, we are getting a signal out of this and we're actually getting a message here. Um, that's quite common if you haven't uh, had a motherboard power up in a long time. It also can be an indicator that the C2032 uh, battery, I think, is, is pretty much dead. So we, and since it is a really old motherboard, we might replace that battery because we are overclocking and we do want to hold and store the values there for the overclocks. So there we have it guys, the benchmarks do all the talking when it comes to this PC. That LGA 771X5460 at 4 gigahertz really was doing a fantastic job at playing all those games at 1080p. I mean, Counter-Strike, CSGO, absolutely no problems. Even Metro Last Light was getting over 70 frames per second in the open world environment at 1080p. Now this was a very impressive accomplishment, I was surprised. When I saw this, Dota 2 was getting up and booging absolutely fine on decent settings. And then we had after that a 4 gig overclock running really cool at under 60 degrees at 22 degrees ambient temperatures. So this VC was an absolute bliss. I was really impressed and it actually made me a big believer in the LGA 775 platform. And also one other thing that I wanted to talk about with this line of CPU is the level two cache. If you guys didn't know, I think this CPU has 12 megabytes of level two cache on board, which makes the gaming in my opinion very good, especially on those older titles. It was an absolutely blissful experience, really smooth and it's better. You know, level two cache is better than level three. It's closer to the CPU cores and it does a really good job. And you've got 12 megabytes of that stuff loaded in these CPUs. So they've got great potential when it comes to gaming and even playing some of those later titles like Metro Last Light. Now, one thing that I would have liked to have added onto this build would have been a little bit more memory. I'm pretty comfortable with six gigabytes nowadays, but four was kind of cutting it very thin, even though the games did run really well uh, for what it was worth. Anyway, that's about it for me today, guys. If you have any questions or comments on the $118 PC, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech yes City for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye. Uh, yeah guys, I got a confession to make. I do spread pace with my bare finger. And the CPU loves it.